David, Josh Bird, who is 33 years old, served two tours in Iraq. He says all he did Monday morning was ask a man to clean up his trash. The video we're about to show you is graphic. Josh Bird is standing in the middle of the street outside the Gardena warehouse where he works when a vehicle traveling at about 30 miles per hour slams into him. His body hits the windshield and then rolls off the side of the vehicle, then lands on the concrete. A maniac and a coward. Bird receives scrapes and cuts all over his body, fractured his wrist, and has five stitches in his chin. What led up to the hit and run? Bird says he was walking his service dog like he does every morning and asked the man who was parked outside his warehouse to clean up his trash. He throws a bunch of trash out onto the street. I kind of asked the gentleman, sir, would you mind picking up the trash that you threw? No response. Uh, he can't see me. I can't see him because he has trash bags blocking his windows. Bird picked up the trash and put it on the hood of the man's car. Then Bird says the man threw a bottle of urine at him and shouted profanity. Shortly after, Bird threw trash at the vehicle and then you you see the car turn around and hit the Iraq war veteran head on. Any other type of person would have been like, all right, they would have cursed me out and just, you know, threw the trash at me or whatever and just drove off and just continued on with their day. Now the gentleman is being, uh, the Gardena police are looking for him for uh, attempted vehicular manslaughter, which carries to 20, 25 years in jail. So, I mean, this, this guy is facing a lot of time. All he had to do was just pick his trash up. Now, Josh Bird tells me he wouldn't have done anything differently. Gardena police tell us they're looking for a four-door green compact car. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.